This is going to be an instructional video on a Hobbit Premium Drive 2014 plate. First of all, I'm going to take you around the habitation externally and then we will go inside the habitation and cab area. First things first, I'm going to show you how to release the bonnet. This is just in case you need to jump start the vehicle. So if you come round to the passenger door, open the passenger door and then the bonnet release catch is just here. All you need to do, pull that down once and that then will release. So now that I have got the bonnet open, I'm just going to show you under here, like I said, mainly if you need to jump start the vehicle. So your negative terminal point is just here and then your positive is just down here under this cap here. Also, as you can see under here, we have got your oil and other tanks, plus your screen wash is just here. So now we are gonna carry on around the um, habitation area. So currently we are still on the passenger side. So this compartment here next to the passenger door, it's gonna give you access to your diesel fill. And then as you can see, we have got some compartments on this side. Here, just below here, this cap, this is gonna be your gray waste. And I'll show you where to um, where the tap is for this. So all you need to do is take this cap off and then you will come into your LPG locker here. And then to release your gray waste is just by pulling on this lever here. All you need to do is pull it outwards, currently it's open, and then to close, push it in. Also, in here, to drain your fresh water tank, you'll see a little valve here in the vertical position. That means the valve is open. To close it, all you need to do is knock the tab down. As you can see, you can fit two tanks in here, uh, six kilogram tanks. Just to the left of the LPG, it's going to be your fresh water fill. All you need to do is put a hose pipe in there, wait for the water to come back out, and then your fresh water tank is full. Just to the right of the LPG cupboard, is going to be your mains 240 volt hookup. And then the last part on the passenger side of the habitation at the rear is going to be your toilet cassette. I'll just open this now. So as you can see, we've got your toilet cassette here. So currently this is securely locked into place by this clip here. To release the toilet cassette, lift this clip up and pull towards you. So now that I have got the toilet cassette out, if you want to empty or clean the cassette, twist this nozzle out here, take the cap off, tilt the cassette up and put your thumb on this button here. Hold the button in, this will let air into the top of the cassette so the fluids flow out evenly without splattering you. Once finished, put the cap back on, twist the nozzle back in and we will put the toilet cassette back into place now. To put the toilet cassette securely back into place, just to line it up, push it in and wait for the clip here to go over the bracket and then your cassette is now securely in place. But as you can see, this vehicle does have a towing hook. And then you do have a reverse camera. Now we are on the driver's side of the habitation. So this first locker we come to which is on a gas strut hinge. This will give you access to storage. You've got quite a lot of storage in here. Obviously the carpets and the ladder is in here for the drop down bed and your spare tire. Also, you can access the storage internally when by lifting the uh, mattress up.
here is going to be ventilation for your fridge and freezer and then above is going to be your external gas point for any barbecues and then the last bit here is going to be your boiler flue just keep this clear at all times just because they do get quite hot now we are going to go into the habitation area as you can see this vehicle does have an awning i will send a separate link on the awning how to uh, set the awning up so this vehicle does have an electric step all you need to do is control it with this button here So as you can see I am now in the habitation area. So near the habitation door is going to be your main control panel for the habitation. To turn this on just press and hold this power button here and then this will light up and then you've got individual lights at the top here. So they all do different uh, areas of the vehicle and then here is more lighting and then here is a radio button so you turn this on it will um, play the radio through the speakers in the habitation here is going to give you your levels of uh, battery this next one here is going to give you your fresh water and waste levels so as you can see that is your fresh water and your waste and then you can use this dial here to go through some of the settings as well instead of clicking the buttons as you can see the internal and external temperature too so just below the uh, habitation control panel is going to be your hot water and heating controls so this top one will control your heating so the first button here at the top on our dial is two kilowatts electric the next one down is one kilowatt the next one in the middle here is just gas alone and then you've got two more settings twist again is gas and one kilowatt twist one more time is gas and two kilowatts below here is going to be your hot water so at the minute you've got off in the middle twist to the left which will give you 40 degrees as you can see it's lit up here so you can change the style here for the temperature and then the next one is going to give you 60 degrees and then just below here is 60 degrees running off gas and then back to the middle to turn the boiler uh, for the hot water off as you can see this vehicle does have a tv in to release this tv you just need to pull this bar down and that will then release from the bracket so now we'll start from the cab area and work our way back through the vehicle So this vehicle does come with blinds in the cab area to use these pinch this tab here slide across and that then will release put, to put back in place slide them back and click them back into place same on the front windscreen pinch slide across and then they will meet in the middle on a magnetic strip and then last thing in the cab area you do have swivel passenger and driver seat to swivel the seat you just need to pull this lever here and then they will swivel as you can see this vehicle does have a lot of cabinet storage above under this seat here which is the travel seats is going to be your fresh water tank 
under this seat you can get access internally into the tank if you want to clean the tank out and then under this seat here this bench seat here is going to be your boiler um, breakers and fuses I'll just remove the cushions now to show you so as you can see I have removed the cushions and lifted this seat up so in here we've got your leisure battery got your breaker here and then you got your fuses as well and then here is going to be your boiler just down here it's going to be hard to show you on the camera but that black valve there with the blue lever on top is the boiler frost protect valve so this will trigger if it gets below a certain temperature so currently that is in the open position all you need to do is twist the lever on top and then the blue button right down there you just need to push that in so currently that is in the open position on the day I will show you this uh, because it's hard to show you on the camera in the space it is at the front we have got a drop down bed as you can see the keys are in here these are just safety keys when you take them out the bed will not move once the keys are in all you need to do to operate is press the arrows here and your bed will come down and then to put the bed back up just use the other arrow and point up when you are dropping the bed you will need to take out these headrests here and then the cushion here that is just so the cupboard here doesn't hit them next we are going to go over the kitchen area in here is going to be your internal gas shut off valves this is just in case an appliance goes faulty you can isolate the appliance and carry on using the gas here we have got uh, an oven got a light here and then to use this you just need to twist this dial here and push in for ignite here we've got a three ring burner so obviously to use your gas obviously you'll need to turn your gas on at the gas tanks once you are stationary one safety feature we do highlight if you do use the um, gas rings here uh, this glass cover we just recommend to leave it up for around 20 minutes let everything cool down the reason for this because of the temperature difference you could potentially shatter the glass and then you got your sink here and a cover and then to use this all you need to do is turn the tap on once you've filled your fresh water up and the fresh water tank does have an internal pump inside which comes on on your hot side of the tap it will um, fill your boiler up with water first before the water comes out of the tap We have got your fridge and freezer here the controls for this are just at the top inside the fridge so currently at the top here it's switched off twist to the right that's plugged into mains twist again that's running off your vehicle 12 volt battery when you are driving and then the last one is going to be off gas to use it on gas you just need to put this dial on gas here and then you'll use this dial here for your temperature push this in and use the igniter here that will then move this ring here into into the green and that will show you that your fridge freezer is running off gas to turn it fully off just twist it all the way back to the top and then the last part obviously like I said you can get access to the storage under the bed internally 
as you can see there. And then we have got your uh, shower and basin tap. So when you get to uh, your site or destination, once you've filled up with fresh water, you might just want to prime your system. All you need to do, like I say, is open the tap and the pump will pull the water through the pipework. And then last part here, we have got your toilet flush. So the blue button is a flush which is going to use your fresh water and then there's an indicator just here to the left that will light up when your toilet cassette is nearly full once that lights up you do have a bit of capacity but it's just letting you know that you are nearly at your limit so that is the instructional video complete on the hobby premium drive like I said, this video is just to highlight the main components of the vehicle and where they are in the vehicle. If you do have any more questions, leave a comment below or you can always drop us an email or give us a call.